You scary, scary woman. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got here to our campsite. And I know you guys can't see very much, but we're right on a lake. What are you talking about? I got this. <laughs> <laughs> will you shine that out there for him? I don't know. What about my light? Yeah, That's you got it. a puny Go light. Oh. We need to get it. Oh my god, what we is need... that? This is a brand new battery too. <laughs> Good thing there's moonlight. <laughs> see see Aja's nice bright light and then now Scott do Scotty's. <laughs> I think it's getting deader by the second. His little tiny light. Oh thank <laughs> God. It looks like a gnat in Well, what do you what do you want for five bucks, huh? <laughs> yeah, the lake is not that... the bathroom with this thing. <laughs> I think the moonlight's brighter than that. It is. Yeah, it is. Cool. It's a lot brighter. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were out here because there was some kind of weird noise going on, but I don't hear it now. Well, Do you, the thing Ash? is, was it in the no. water or is it a raccoon? No, it was in the water. It was definitely in the water. It could be one of those massive uh, catfish. Well, that's there. what I was wondering if it could have been like a big fish. Could be a woodchuck, Chuck. Oh! If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay, I heard. Listen. That's fish. It's fish. What? Little yeah. Oh no, there's a frog or turtles. You see turtles? Oh, is that a log going out there? Can I see, I see a stick. Head right there. Okay, Aja has spotted turtles. Uh huh. Let's see. You see a little head right there? That's what we're hearing then? Oh yeah. Is that a turtle head? Yeah. Well, there was one that just dipped down. Oh, no, I don't know what that is, Aj. Oh. No, that's... Here, there you go. Can you see it? <laughs> Can anybody see it? Can anybody see Scott's it? Flashlight? flashlight? I can see my foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Can won't... you see the bird duty? Yeah, we see the bird duty. But, I don't know. There's something out there making noises. I think it was either a raccoon or... I don't know, maybe a beaver. <laughs> Yesterday, Scotty was looking on freecampsites.net and came across this. It is, oh, I want to say about six minutes out of Kingsman. And I woke up really early so I could capture that sunrise that I was showing you guys at the beginning. It was really beautiful on the lake. Anyways, this is a free camp area. I'll take you guys up there to the board. Um, when I get cleaned up for the day and show you guys the rules and regulations and how many days you can camp out here but I'll tell you what this is gorgeous you can't beat that in the morning oh that is a big spider Wow, we just came and uh, walked up the road here and this tree is dropping fruit and I have no idea what this fruit is. This is heavy. 
What is it? Can we break one open? Well, we could probably do a lot of things. I don't, I don't know, didn't bring anything to crack it open with. Hmm. I got a feeling that it's a tight step on it. Ow! Ow! No! Wow. I don't know. Huh. It sounds like a soft, it's heavy and it sounds like a softball. Here's what it looks like inside then. Oh yeah. Okay, be careful because they are coming down yeah. out of that tree. We just heard one come down. Yeah, look at that. Okay, everybody, you guys know what the question is. What are these? They're, I've never seen anything like it before. Are they edible? I have no idea. They look like there are a lot of seeds in them. Yeah. Like it's all seeds. Oh, did you hear that, guys? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stand under these trees. That it's could... It's windy right now, so it right. seems like they're coming down more. <laughs> yeah. That could give you a bump on your not. Oh! <laughs> Get back, hun. You're heavy. We're gonna knock you out. That's like having somebody drop a baseball on you. If it wasn't windy, they probably wouldn't come down. Back up. Move way far back. All right, we are at Kingsman State Lake uh, Shelter House and Cabins. Very cool. So you can tent here, you can boat here, you can have your dog on a leash, no ATVs, no fireworks, and no drinking water. It's a good thing we came with lots of drinking water. All right, we're gonna head back down and check out the lake. Well, there's the length and creel limits. We were just talking to a fisherman over here and he came down because they are trying to catch a northern pike. Right? Is that what they said, a northern pike? Yep. yep. I've never heard of a... We always call it a catch limit, right? I assume that's how many fish you can catch. Oh. You can catch 50 little crappies. Yeah. That's a lot of catching. But they call it creel limit. Oh. And Scott's going to have to put his beer away. And cereal. Oh, I can't have my cereal. I know. Or my malt in the morning. <laughs> no cereal for you. I'm out of here. <laughs> and let's see. Alert. This water contains white perch and is classified as a designated aquatic nuisance species. Hmm. All right. Well, one thing that we have noticed is the runoff. So uh, just about every site we've looked at so far has some runoff issues. So if you're going to come to this area, in the rainy season you might want to pick your site wisely but I haven't seen a bad site yet every one of them has a fire pit our fire pits a little um, ours is buried in sand yes. <laughs> around this whole lake and I'll bet it's because it's so sandy around here that it would just constantly constantly erode in there oh yeah that is my guess one thing about this uh, campground is that you can hear the highway and there are trains at night but did you really hear anything no. last night I slept really well I slept really well yeah. I was um, hesitating there for a minute guys because I've noticed they've got some big spiders here gotta cover my coffee Woo! he didn't like that <laughs> They got big bugs here. Big spiders, big beetles. Well, they have a nice walking area. I'm sure this is used by a lot of fishermen to get down around the back side of this lake. And they do have a little, uh, what do you call this? A little dock area, but it says keep out. So it, we will not go in there. It's a spillway. It's what maintains the height of the lake. Right. So right now it's dumping out in here, going underneath the road, and dumping out over there.
be moving, but I don't know. He's down in there. He can't get his wings to fly. Oh, can you help him, please? Is he going to bite me? No. Oh, maybe there he's got he it. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, you guys, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? I don't know. The wind's really strong here, and I'm not really sure if he came down a little too hard. Oh, I'm not sure he's well. I'll help him. I'm sorry. I'm not really sure what we can do for him. Oh, maybe put him on a branch where he's safer. Oh, I could do this. There he goes. All right, well, Scotty helped that little guy. I think he, it, I don't know, it was on odd. He fell right in front of us. Well, he may have landed in the grass and then sunk down, and then yeah. it just was all around me. I don't know. Okay. All right, guys, so you know how much I uh, really despise trash being left behind, and we try to do our job, and we will be doing that today. Um, a no trash policy is in force on this area. As a result of inflation and limited operating and maintenance funds, the trash barrels and service have been removed in order to save sportsmen dollars. These dollars will be more efficiently, effectively utilized for improving fish and wildlife management on public area management by the Department of Wild and Life. Wildlife and Parks, please take all your trash with you. And if you see somebody else's trash, please pick it up and take it with you as well. See the green thing there? What is it? I think it's a Katie it? did or it's the body of a oh, Katie Oh, I was just asking Scott to go up and show you guys how massive this tree is by standing next to it. It's so big. I love it. But he spotted something different. It's, he's almost like translucent. You can almost see right through him. Oh, he's really neat. All right, we'll leave him be. I just realized they're all over the tree. Here's oh, one. Oh, yeah, they blend right into the tree. And there's tree. one climbing up. Oh. Maybe they're climbers, not flyers. Yeah. <laughs> when I lived in Spain, we had chameleons and... They love grasshoppers. That would be a gourmet meal for one. Yeah, they're really <laughs> yeah, huge. They are big. Oh, yeah, and there's something down in here. Is this a little guy? What is this? I think it's a leaf. I don't know about that. It looks like it's got some legs on it. Oh, it's one of the green uh, stink bugs I seen the other oh, day. Oh, no. It looks like oh, a stink no. bug. Oh, no. I'm not into no stinky bugs. <laughs> okay quite the interesting tree. It is. <laughs> All kinds of full of life. I mean, that's, I could just, he's climbing pretty daggone fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to continue with our walk and see what else we find. We'll probably make it back to the uh, rig by midnight this way. At this rate. <laughs> that's probably where you would pop a tent up or have a picnic. Of course, they have the parking for uh, the fishermen and a outhouse. Have you used the outhouse? I have, <laughs> and it's really clean. Okay, very, that's very what nice. I was going to yeah. ask you. Well, this is cool. This is a uh, reserved parking for disabled uh, people. So obviously, you come right down to the concrete, and you can take yourself out to the dock they have out there which is right beside the boat launch. Isn't that great, you yeah. guys? Look at this. You just drive right down onto the grass here, and uh, and then you can park right next to the sidewalk, and you can get right onto the dock. That is awesome. And then it's also designed so then you can just get in a boat, so. Oh, yeah. You know, you, the, your boat's right there. Perfect. I wish we came across more places like that. That, I think that's just, uh, absolutely cool well you're not allowed to fish off the dock because this is where they launch the boat oh I see Miss Aja and Moo Moo up over there setting her solar up 
Oh, she did turn around and everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I would swim in this lake. Um, I guess if you are uh, accustomed to this area, maybe that's normal for you guys. I don't know. A lot of algae, maybe? Or if you've never watched Jaws, then you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared anymore. If I can't see bottom, I don't want to go. <laughs> Aja gave us a movie the other night, and it was, what was the name of the it? The Meg. The Meg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I think anyone who ever watched Jaws, uh, very few people I've ever talked to, that it scared everybody. <laughs> I think it did. <laughs> yeah, somebody left their little rope here. Put that in the camper, wind it up, and... Save might, it. Might need to use that I'll, someday. I'll hook it to my uh, crawdad trap. Oh, I only have half a crawdad trap. <laughs> well, we're gonna. I'm gonna fix that today. <laughs> I don't think there's any crawdads here, though. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about them. Air. They're just full of air. It's full of air. Hey. Ah! <laughs> he startled me. I don't know what these are. They're kind of cool. They're really light. They're like full of air. Let me see. Please. I think the seeds inside of them. Oh, can you open one up so we can see? Oh, I'm right in the sun. Sorry, guys. There is two seeds. Boy, they're shiny. Two, two seeds. Huh. Uh, maybe a little baby one. Nope. Oh, two seeds, and now we'll let them. Let them be free. Go, go grow. They're probably a noxious weed that they don't want to yeah, grow. Probably. But. Now yeah. I've helped spread them. <laughs> Everywhere we go um, around the different states when we're around water, we see this all the time. That is a big problem. But they do have boat uh, checks about everywhere that you go to. So hopefully yeah. they'll get a control on that. Hi, Moo Moo. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh! Like a greyhound. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. Hi, sweetheart. All right, we came back to the camper and we're going to take a walk right down there. But we also came back to see if uh, we could take Moo for a little walk. Aja's going to do some filming, so this way... We need for protection. Yeah, Moo... <laughs> protection. <laughs> that way Moo Moo can get out and enjoy nature, too, with us. Yeah, these are really big uh, campsites. I imagine if you have a vehicle and then a trailer or, you know, a bigger uh, RV and then you had your boat, um, that would be pretty nice. Oh, let's see. There's a sign in this one here. Let's go see what it says. I'm guessing a brand new tent. Look at that. We found the campsite. This is really nice. Nice and flat level. Nice uh, new fire pit. And look at the table. Even has an extension on it. So if you were in a wheelchair, you could get down here and be able to sit at the picnic table. That's awesome. And they also have their own jetty to go out there. That's perfect. Yeah. Really what, nice. What a nice state park. This and is look really at nice. That. Very accommodating little uh, park here. Well, this is one continuous road right here. And I guess what you would do is uh, just go ahead and pull up onto the grassy area. I'm not real sure about that, but they all have fire pits and picnic tables. So I guess that's what you do with that one. Well, we've spotted one tenter. And there are some cabins here. And a restroom down here. We'll go check it out. Well, we can't get up in here and look because they've uh, cut the stairs off. They must be revamping, but eh, Moo Moo's out of luck. No dogs in there. No pets at all. And this cabin's called Sand Plum. Same thing. No pets. 
Sorry, Moo Moo. Okay. Yeah, okay, there's the stairs and the and the deck. Because they do have it looks very wheelchair accessible. And so look, they've taken them off. Getting them all ready for next season for camping. Yeah, they're gonna have to obviously have to redo them. Yeah. Alright, well we finally made it up to the memorial shelter house. It's got just some picnic tables in here and a place to relax for a minute if you've been walking around through the park. And do you think that road there goes back to where we came or is this another road? No. Okay, Scotty thinks that road where just... The tree and the sign was. Oh, it continues down to where the sign was, where the big fruit or whatever that was that was falling out of the tree. Ah, uh, look at Moo. <laughs> I think the grass was hurting her feet. Uh-oh. She needs oh. to be carried? No. I just want to make sure there's nothing in, in her little feeties. Oh, yeah. All right. We think that that might be a trail back down towards our place. Uh, we've been out here walking for, gosh, over an hour now, plus the morning walk that we took with you guys where the butterflies and the end of the lake was. So I think that's going to be it. We'll see you guys later.